Hello everyone, I just want to create a quick video on problems you may encounter upon installation and removal of Ubuntu Linux. So the first is immediately after you install and restart the computer. So if you can see on Grub here, you we have Windows 10, the bootloader for both Windows 10 and Ubuntu. But there's a very good chance that you will not have the Windows version, so I'll show you how to correct this. So go ahead and log into Ubuntu, and we're going to get into the terminal. And we're going to type in sudo update-grub. And then you want to type in your password. It's not going to show it. And then hit enter. And then what this is going to do, it's going to update the Windows 10 loader. So if we go ahead and go to the power cog, shut down, restart, we will now see the Windows 10 option. So like I said, I already did this before, but if you don't see the Windows 10 option, that is the quick fix. So the next problem you may encounter is once you remove Ubuntu. So let's go ahead and remove Linux from this machine. So you wanna to go to disk management. So just right click on the start button. And then we have two NTFS formatted partitions and then our recovery partition. So NTFS is a Windows format, and then the other two partitions were Linux. So we're gonna go ahead and right click and delete these partitions. So the first thing it's gonna do is it's gonna turn it into free space. And then if we right click and delete the partition, we can expand our C volume. All right, so we just removed the Linux partitions from our machine. So if we restart our computer, what's gonna happen is we're gonna go into the emergency grub mode. So grub rescue. So the quick fix for this, if you hit control delete to restart or press the power button on your machine is once again through terminal. So I'm gonna go ahead and boot up through Linux again Make sure you save your live boot up of Linux, whether you used a disk or a flash drive. And you don't actually need to reinstall Linux to do this. You can go ahead and just try Ubuntu without installing or whatever version of Linux you're using. And then once it boots up, give it a sec. We're gonna to go to terminal once again. And we're gonna type in sudo app-get install lilo. Go ahead and press enter, ignore the message. And then one more command, sudo lilo dash capital M space slash dev slash SDA MBR space MBR and then hit enter and the master boot record will be updated so if we go ahead and restart again we should boot right back into Windows or whatever other operating system you're running a dual boot off of so thank you for watching this if it was helpful for you, go ahead and leave a thumbs up and I will add these two commands in the description. And if you want to see more content like this, please subscribe.